pioneering American musician Lou Reed has died at the age of 71. You'll probably best remember him as the creative force behind the Velvet Underground, of course one of the most influential rock bands of the 1960s and 70s. For Lou Reed, life was expressed through music. His band, The Velvet Underground, set the tone for rock and the punk music movement in the 1960s and early 70s. For a, a lot of people who like a lot of indie rock, punk music, certain underground kind of music, you know, Lou was as important as any of the Beatles. His agent said he died at home in Long Island because of complications from a recent liver transplant. His career spanned nearly five decades. <laughs> Reed once said his goal was not just to make music, but to speak to people the way Shakespeare did through literature. With classics like Sweet Jane, Lou Reed influenced generations of rockers, often merging risque lyrics with droning guitars. Born and raised in New York, Reed joined creative forces with Andy Warhol, who sponsored the Velvet Underground. Rolling Stone named the Underground's 1967 debut album the 13th greatest of all time. I get personal satisfaction out of making things that don't exist. I follow passion. And that's the one rule I've lived by. Although accepted in the Hall of Fame, many of Reed's lyrics chronicled sex and drugs and shocked the establishment. <laughs> Reed also delved into acting, playing an annoying record producer in Paul Simon's 1980 movie riff on the music business, One Trick Pony. What do you think I am, just a knob turner here? I made, I made a couple of records myself, you know, I know what I'm doing. Reed loved poetry, and legions of indie rockers hung on his every word. He celebrated independent streaks, as heard on I Love You, Suzanne. You, I got it. 